Oh shit! New cars here, guys. Yeah, that is a beautiful car, sir. Thanks, man. <laughs> Man, I'm excited. <laughs> Dude, these things are so sick, man. They're fast. Yeah. You got a beautiful car in here, but oh, it's yeah. kind of Are you single? No, married. And your wife's cool? Your wife's cool with it. What do you do, right? <laughs> Wife actually hates that I like ours. This is my second. I I've only had that one for one year. Oh. <laughs> I bought that one last year on my birthday, and I got bored. And I took this one. Okay, we'll see you next week. <laughs> you got some uh, blue, blue little happy birthday stuff. Got a little swag package here in the, in the back. Yeah. Right here. Oh man, guys, I appreciate that. Your little swag bag. That's cool. That Carvana did that. It's a Toyota Supra. Toyota Supra. Kilo! You little sucker! Hi, my baby! Are you okay, you little pig? We have tiny toy! What do you think of the Supra, dude? It looks pretty fucking badass, right? We're gonna, we're gonna drive it later. Automatic! All right, y'all, it's official. We picked up a 2020 Toyota Supra that's going to be replacing the M. And oh my gosh. This view right here, this angle, has gotta be the best angle for sure. And I got so many plans for this and I appreciate you guys all following my channel. Just to quickly talk about, I know a lot of people follow me for the M4 content, and I just kind of want to explain why I ended up trading it in to get the Supra. Before I owned the M4, I owned a 2016 WRX. Uh, it was a full bolt-on, it had a Varus kit, and then after trading in that car, it was either gonna be the M4 or the Supra. And I decided to go with the M4. And what I came to realize is, you know, the M4 was great. It was, it was beautiful, it was fast, and there was so much more potential for that car. But I really missed the JDM styling, you know. Uh, when I had the M4, I had the laughter lip, I had BBS wheels, I did diffuser, side skirt, all the goodies, and it looked great. But what I really enjoy doing is fitting body kits on the car. Like when I had the WRX, I got, you know, I had the, the Vars front bumper, far skirts, stock body. I'm not really a big fan of wide body. And the only kit that I could have gone with the M4 was, uh, was the Vars wide body kit, which is a lot of money. And the Supra, you know, I've been following a bunch of builds. It's great potential for power. It's a super fast car. And honestly, I, as of right now, I don't miss stick. I've driven this a little bit and the, the ZF8 is a really impressive transmission. But, you know, just being out for two years now, there's so much aftermarket support for this car. I mean, there's front bumper replacements, rear bumper replacements, side skirts, 
fenders, you name it, front hoods. And I felt like there weren't a lot of options with that with the M4, so I was kind of stuck where it was aesthetically. And I want to be able to build a car that's fast, and I also want to build a car that looks unique. And with the M4, I felt like every single M3 or M4 owner, their car looks exactly the same. And that's what I'm going to be doing with this car. I want to, I want to go back to the WRX roots and be able to purchase body kits, put it on the car, and then also make it super fast. So, you know, a lot of people hate on the Supra because it's a BMW. I actually appreciate it, you know, being in the M4, the, the handling and just the drivability and the driver experience being in the M4 versus the WRX was hand down way better. And then now I get the JDM aesthetic styling as well as the BMW comfort and drivability and the driver experience, I call it a win-win. So I hope you guys all enjoy my content and look forward to this next build. I am very sorry if you guys recently subscribed just because I had an M4 or an F80X build, but I promise you this build is gonna be even more insane. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys the Supra. I'm super excited about this next build. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, peace.